Father, thank you for the touch of heaven upon these great, precious people here. We thank you, Lord, for a new beginning, a new season, a new breakthrough. We thank you, Lord, for a new thing that you're about to do as you spoke in this land, this uh, Tala in Kenya, this region, this eastern side of the city of Nairobi. We thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough that's coming. It's going to be phenomenal what you're about to do. I feel the anointing. Something's about to happen and shift for the people here. We break everything that's kept people bound and back and we propel them forward in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this habitation, this place. We bless this house. We bless every single one of these young people and children and all of the people that work here, all the people that do anything here. We thank you for your blessing upon them that makes them rich and adds no sorrow. Thank you for financial overflow in this coming season. Thank you, Lord, that everybody will be well cared for and taught the word of God to understand how to rise up in life into great success. In Jesus' name, it is done. You are blessed. Amen. All right, let's go outside and we'll take it outside and we'll do that. Father, thank you for what you're doing here. Can we lift our hands over, all of us? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your touch, your favor, your blessing. Thank you for these great young people here. Thank you for this training center. Thank you for what you're about to do here. Thank you, Lord, for the touch of heaven upon this land. And the whole entire region here, let it be broken loose from every cycle of witchcraft, poverty, all kinds of degradation of issues. We thank you, Lord, that it's being broken. The people are going to rise up and go free. They shouldn't be staggering around not knowing what to do because they need to have leaders. People need to have leaders to lead the way. I prophesy that you're going to raise up leaders. Even these young people, when they grow, they're going to become leaders also. I curse witchcraft. I curse workers of darkness. I curse haters of, the, uh, of God. I curse the whole operation of evildoers in Jesus' name. And everything will begin to change for the better about this place in the time and the season to come. We thank you for the breakthrough. And Lord, I bless these babies. I bless these people that they'll see your hand in Jesus' name. Thank you for making us a blessing to them. And you that are walk, walking with us and working with us. You see, we're visiting all these people. This is a one group of, of people here but you know there are thousands there's multitudes of people all over the land and we're seeing them and we're praying over them prophesying over them and uh some of the churches as we see they're just stuck but god you're going to raise up a new wineskin new leadership new people that are going to really flow with you and some of you are even, even are watching. You're going you're gonna to be in our network. You're going to be in our network of people and partners and friends that we stand together to bring the power of God to our generation all over the land here. We thank you, Lord, for 
a new beginning for so many people. They have not seen yet, ever in their lifetime, what, what God is about to do. And we thank you, Lord, that you're going to cause the breakthrough now in Jesus' name. There's going to be such a tremendous outpouring of your power, your love, your favor, your blessing, your grace to raise people to make them great. And people that were born in environments of total degradation and low level, uh, a low level life and living and background, you're going to raise them and make them champions. And they're going to walk out and they're going to also lead other people into the promised land. And that's a big part of the gospel. Sometimes in the gospel, you talk about, okay, where's the food? Where's the program? Where's the what? But, you know, people, people that get blessed, they get mad at. They should get angry at that. They should say, I don't need nothing from you. I don't need a piece of bread or a bag of flour. I don't need that. I got my own. What can we do to change society? What can we do to serve God? Yeah, and it's got, that, that kind of thing is going to come up out of people. They're going to begin to say things like that. Lift your hands up, you guys. You're getting anointed for this. Amen. Amen. Like, oh, what can you give me? What can you do for me? No, you should say, what can I do for you? Yes. How can I bless you? How can I do something for you? God is going to flip the whole thing around. The whole thing is going to turn around for the better. I declare it so. I don't know if you can see that nice mountain behind me, but we're in this open land here. It's a very... Unusual place for me to be as a city boy, but uh, here we are. So I thank you, Lord, that these people are going to be raised up to be champions in their generation. A true leader doesn't just take followers along with them. They train them to become great. They train them to become powerful. They train A true leader will train people to know what he knows and to accomplish great things. And Father, I put it up. Look at these babies. You got that. You see, you got your hands up. See, you're receiving little girls. Look at these little boys here. Look at you. You're getting it. I see it in your eyes. You're not going to be like the last generation. Something new is going to happen. And I declare it from today in Jesus' name. You see that little girl over there? Too? Mama with the camera. She's brilliant. Look at She's filming that. She knows how to do that. She figured it's not a hard thing, but she said, oh, I want to do that. Look, at she's the one filming. You see, some of you are going to be like mega business people. Say praise the Lord. Amen. Say praise the Lord. Mega business people. You're going to be rich. You're going to be prosperous. Let me tell you, it's God's will for you to become a millionaire. Yes. Say, I am a millionaire. I am a millionaire. Don't say, I will be. Say, I am. I am. And whatever you say, I am, too, becomes true. Yes. If you Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. It didn't say, say you're poor or say you're weak. It said, no, if you're in that position now, for whatever reason, you are already out of it. Yes. That's the plan of God. Amen. God doesn't want anybody to be poor. Amen. The only people that should be poor are evildoers, criminal thugs, thieves, liars, cheaters, and some preachers <laughs> that act like the, almost like the devil around here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They're the ones that should be poor and sick and broken and messed up. Not good people. Lift your hands and say, praise the Lord. I'm preaching praise good here. The You're the ones that are supposed to, are supposed to be blessed. Yes. And full of power. Hallelujah. Obadiah chapter 1, the prophet said, there'll be saviors on Mount Zion. What does it mean? There's only one savior, Jesus. There's only one. But we're his representatives. So we also carry his saving power. Yes. We're deliverers for our generation. Yes. And the Lord is speaking about leadership. True leadership will lead people somewhere. And some of you, I prophesy, will become leaders to lead others. Amen. By the way, I'll tell you a secret. Everybody's a leader. They just need to figure out what they're supposed to do. You're just supposed to figure out where you're supposed to lead to, where you're, who you're supposed to be with, where you're supposed to be. And God is the boss at giving us his direction. Can you say hallelujah? Amen. Born as to be way. Amen. Yeah, amen. So God is doing something new here. Yes. For I see like big land. I see big property. I see big amen. projects. I see this is just a step. This is like a, 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 a seed, an embryo. Yes. But there's a big thing coming. I thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. And Father, you made us like a 
fathers in the land. You're making us like a godfather. And some of these ones, even we see it again. It's, I don't want to say too many details. Even we see the worst ever in history just happened. The worst ever. And people say they want to show honor, but they don't do it at all. Ah. Let them build their things. We don't care. We have to build what God wants to build. Amen. Father, give us the property. Give us the land. Somebody watching. I don't know. I'm, I'm stepping out here. I, somebody watching or this video might get to you. You might have a big piece of property. You say, Lord, the prophet is doing the missions work over there. Can I give him this that he can build something? And to our bishop here, our host here, my dear friend, Bishop Michael, can, can, can we help his project? Can we help him get something done? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's like that. Yeah. So the Lord's going to talk to people. He's going to talk to people. Even to become a financial partner. You can do that. All the links are in the headings and the titles and on our YouTube channel, our web pages, our website. You can find all the links there on how to sow seed into this anointing. And, and you'll be blessed by doing that. And the Lord is causing such favor to come upon people that become partners of the work. When you help people get raised up, God will raise you up. When you sow something into the life of someone that's busy on the field, doing something to help and bless people, God will, God will do something great for you. And some people are like, I'm having trouble with my business. I'm having trouble with my family. I'm having trouble with the, your children. You're having trouble with this or with that. You're having trouble with some sickness or ailment, some oppression, some problem. You can get out of all of that by touching the anointing. Let's lift our hands up to heaven because it's where our help comes from. Amen. Psalm 121 says, look up. Well, that's where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. And he's not asleep concerning Israel. Israel's just one place in the world. Of course, it's important. But there's also here where we are. There's also other parts all over the world. And all your billions of people on the planet Earth. We thank you, Lord, that everybody is important to you. And everybody has a mission to fulfill. Everybody has an assignment to fulfill. Everybody has something to do that's great. And God doesn't want you to be like other people. He wants you to be very unique and very prosperous and very gifted in your uniqueness. Can I tell you, your greatness is not being similar to another. It's your difference from another. If you're different from somebody else, it means you have something they don't have. And you need to cherish that and celebrate that. So we thank you, Lord. There's coming a new movement, a new generation, a new, a new rise of the people, and even the young generation, and all of the people in between. Some that are in their ways and they, they don't ever intend to change. We leave them to it. But it's time now for us to arise and shine. Praise the Lord. We need to arise and shine. Father, I pray the Holy Ghost and fire will come upon these babies and these young people and all the people here that are working in this vision and working in our ministry and what we're doing. We thank you, Lord, for the touch of heaven, the anointing that's falling here. In Jesus' mighty name, let new things begin to happen. Follow me as I walk over here. Just follow me. Father, we thank you for the touch of heaven upon all of these people, every single one. Be blessed, Mama. Be blessed. Be blessed with vision. Be blessed with vision. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Jumbo. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Do you know that? Wow. I'm getting blessed. Look, I just look at you. I'm getting so blessed. Wow. Look at these babies. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. God's doing something new. That's, all I, that's what I can tell you. It's not, the next day is not going to be like the last day. Amen. Even next week is not going to be like last week. Even next month is not going to be like last month. Amen. Fulfillment of promises is coming. Fulfillment of all kinds of blessings is coming. And we're going to see it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for the touch of glory upon this place, upon these people. In Jesus' name. Thank you for getting involved with us. We're touching the lives of countless multitudes of people. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I love you. We'll talk to you again in the next one. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, could you um, party high five? Party high five. A very nice high five. High five billion. Amen. Amen. <laughs> high five million. High five billion. Amen. Hi, baby. Party high five. Can you see the
like this one. Hey, like that. Hallelujah. Woo! Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. Amen, baby. Bless you, baby. Bless you, sweetheart. Bless you. Say hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, Sasa Mgenuetu, I'm a prophet, Thomas Manto. So many prophets. Thomas Manton, the fourth 